Thank you so much for joining us at 10. I'm Mark McPherson. About 22 hours from now, polls will be closing in Wisconsin, but the counting process will really just be getting started. All early votes have been safely secured and stored, but tomorrow morning they will finally be counted. WMTV's Tabitha Bland heard from the Wisconsin Election Commission about how Wisconsin's voting process is different than most other states. Yeah, 43 states of the country allow for early mail-in and in-person ballots to be pre-processed to help speed up the counting process on Election Day. The state of Wisconsin, though, is noted as one of the seven states that have to wait until Election Day. I voted the first day of in-person absentee voting. I have already voted. I voted uh, the 26th, I think. In the state of Wisconsin, voting early does not mean that votes are counted early. Wisconsin is one of just a few states where po poll workers and clerks can't even begin processing absentee ballots until the polls open on Election Day. Jonathan Greenberg says the waiting game for counting early ballots is what sets Wisconsin apart. I used to live in Florida, and what they would do is they would count all the early votes in advance. So on election night in Florida, they would just dump all the early votes immediately, and then the election day results would trickle in. Our law is different than other states, too. So on election day, you know, they begin processing and counting absentees. They have to keep tallying and counting until all the ballots have been counted. Voter Maggie Hutter wonders when the unofficial results will be in. Um, I'm guessing <laughs> after I go to bed sometime, I'm thinking through the night, maybe um, a little later. Unlike Hutter, Greenberg plans to stay awake and watch. I will, I will stay up until the election is called. Uh, I actually anticipate there will be a call tomorrow. I could be wrong. But regardless of how voters spend their night after 8 p.m., election officials will be counting Tuesday's votes alongside all early votes, making it hard to tell when the results will be in. And just because you're waiting until the early morning hours doesn't mean that anything has gone wrong. This just means that election officials, again, are prioritizing accuracy over speed in order to ensure that every legitimate ballot gets counted. The Wisconsin Elections Commission wants to remind voters that while they understand that the vote is the vote count is highly anticipated, the results are unofficial and they will have to be vetted before they are certified. In the studio, Tabitha Bland, WMTV 15 News. Thanks, Tabitha. The election feels like it's been a long time coming. It's finally almost here. And if the outcome has you feeling stressed, you're not alone. During our 4 p.m., our own WMTV's Lee Mills talked with a doctor from UW Health about managing that stress. Here's what they had to say. You might even think early in the day, mm -hmm. going for a run mm -hmm. or having a watch party with a friend mm -hmm. or eating some good food or connecting with nature. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important to do those things early on because this is a long distance race until we get the results. She also says it's good to set boundaries if you're looking to avoid seeing or talking about politics for the next couple of days. Well, back in 2020, there were concerns about voter fraud. There were lawsuits and recounts. Wisconsin, one of those states that held recounts. Election officials only reported 23 suspected cases between May of 2020 and June of 2022. In addition, an audit of the 2020 election by the Nonpartisan Legislative Audit Bureau did not find any widespread fraud. They say the election was safe and secure. In total, the audit found 24 people who might have two active voter registrations and of those, four who might have voted twice. Well, earlier tonight, I talked with WMTV's Washington correspondent Josh Rutlenberg about tomorrow's big day. One of the questions I asked him was what factors go into when each state can comfortably declare a winner. Take a listen. Yeah, there's a lot of different factors. And keep in mind that every state in the nation has different laws when it comes to when they retrieve their early votes, uh, exactly how they count them, when they count them. And so elections officials around the country are just saying be patient because this could take a couple of days, go back to 2020. And it was four days until the Associated Press called the race for Joe Biden. That was because there was unofficial results that were released from the state that then news media goes ahead and projects a winner. Ultimately, the states don't give out the official results until those votes are actually certified for a couple of weeks. So if this does take a lot of time, just know that it's not because anything is going wrong. It's just because this is the process and you should trust the process. Now, he also says Harris will spend tomorrow night in D.C. Trump will be at the Palm Beach Convention Center.